Hi and welcome to the part 5 of the wireless hacking series by 101hacker.com. Today we will have a look at WLAN packets. So to give you an idea I took this screenshot from Microsoft website. So this is how 802.11 and OSI model looks like. So you can clearly see all the components of the WLAN architecture fall into either the media access control which is basically the max sub layer of the data link layer or the physical layer so this is how a wlan packet looks like so it has a mac header a frame body and a frame check sequence which is basically fcs so the mac header has various fields such as the frame control duration id address 1 address 2 address 3 sequence control and address 4 so the numbers here basically tell you the amount of bytes that each field um, holds. So for example frame control has 2 bytes, duration ID has 2 bytes and so on up to address 4. So the frame control field itself has various, I mean is subdivided into protocol version, type, subtype, 2DS, from DS, more fragments, retry, power management, more data, web and order. So the point you need to note here is the header and the frame body changes according to the types of uh, frames, basically the type of WLAN packet. So we will have a look at the different types of WLAN frames in just a minute. So before that we will first analyze a WLAN packet using Wireshark. So I have already logged into my Kali machine, I have also put uh, I mean connected my card and I put my card in monitor mode so I'll just fire up Wireshark and start capturing packets using the Mon0 interface which is basically the monitor interface so let me just stop the capture so in Wireshark there are actually three sections uh, the first section this one is called the packets paint section so this will show you all the packets that have been captured the next section is called the packets detail pane which basically uh, will give you more information about the packet that you have selected in the packets pane section so the final uh, one is called the bytes pane which will give you all the data in hex um, view and in bits view so you can just select a hex view or bits view so now let's go and correlate the um, mac header frame body and the frame check sequence so uh, we need not actually worry about the type of wlan packet because we are going to just have a look at the mac header frame body and fcs so let's go and select any packet uh, so you can see various fields right here some of these fields are actually being added by Wireshark itself. So for example, radio tap header is actually being added by the Wireshark team itself. So this will give you additional information like um, signal strength, channel frequency and other interesting information. So right now we are interested in the MAC header. So this field actually holds the MAC header as well as the frame check sequence right over here and this field is the frame body uh, this one so the only difference is Wireshark actually lays these uh, fields in a much different way so that we can easily read uh, however you can have a look at the xdump uh, to know where these fields are actually placed for example uh, we know that the mac header is the first uh, i mean mac after mac header you should see the frame body so if you look at this field it actually starts at 8d and finishes at 1d so this is the mac header so a frame body should actually start at 1f so if you click this field you can clearly see it starts at 1f and finishes at 6c so the frame check sequence should start at 32 so if you click the frame check sequence field you can see it starts at 32 D0 and D and uh, so on. So by looking at the hex dump, you can find out where these fields are actually um, there. Uh, the main point that you need to note here is these MAC header and frame body um, has some 
vital information that we will be interested in while doing wireless hacking so that brings us to the uh, types of WLAN packets so there are three major types of WLAN frames so they are the management frames data frames and the control frames each frame has subtypes there are also other WLAN frames which we will have a look when needed to get more info about the different types of frames and their purpose and their users please have a look at this link so I would highly recommend you to go to this Wikipedia page and uh, have a look at it so for example the management frame has 12 subtypes so each have a purpose and use we will have a look at the different types of WLAN uh, I mean packets and its subtypes in a much detailed way in coming videos so the exercise for this video is study about the different types of WLAN frames and their subtypes so that brings us to the end of this video I hope you enjoyed this one if you have any doubts or queries please post your comments or just mail us to sean at 101hacker.com thank you for watching